Questions piling up about the sustainability of the state's school choice program. This comes after the Oklahoma Tax Commission received more than 30,000 applications within the first 90 minutes of launching on Wednesday. Fox 25's David Chazanoff spoke with the OTC and its partner Merit. David, what did you find out? Adam and Wendy, the OTC says they can approve up to $150 million in tax credits for this program. But with so many applications already, some lawmakers tell me they question if this is even going to work. I don't think anybody really knows what this program is all about and how much it's ultimately going to cost the state. And that is a huge problem. Oklahoma's school choice program decides how many tax credits a student will get. The amount depends on their household income. For example, $7,500 is the most a family could receive from the state. Those who qualify make no more than $75,000 a year. The amount of money in tax credits drops the more a household makes. So if an applying family earns more than $250,000 annually, they're eligible for $5,000. The program will prioritize families that earn less than $150,000 if they submit an application before February 1st. So let's just say all 30,000 applicants had the highest income bracket. Well, that wouldn't be good news for anyone else who wants to apply because 30,000 times $5,000 is already at the limit for this program, which is $150 million. Well, it's going to hit the cap. Uh, absolutely, it's going to hit the cap. Lawmaker Jacob Rosecrantz says he has doubts about how accessible those tax credits are going to be and wonders who applied for this program. Are those parents of kids that are already in private schools? Did they need this? Uh, or is this just something they're taking advantage of? Because who wouldn't? Jacob Warren tells Fox 25 that Merritt is, quote, still going through the tens of thousands of applications and expect to have a clearer picture and numbers next week. Rosecrans says we might not be as satisfied with the data. It may not be the people that they say that they, they are wanting to have a first shot at this at this tax credit. Orrin still encourages taxpayers to apply for the program and reminds people that credits are first come, first serve. With how much information is available at this time, Rosecrans has many questions. What does that mean? Does that mean that we're going to see legislation uh, even in 2024 to extend the cap? to cost the state even more money than we did before, because usually that's what we see. And we reached out to lawmakers Adam Pugh and Rhonda Baker, but they were unavailable for comment. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, David Chazanoff, Fox 25 News.